Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Ode to the Dungeon Jewel Go plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which automatically generates these awesome dungeons which you can see around me. And what you can do, you can either set them to spawn automatically or manually. So let's have a look at them first of all. This is the battle tower, so on each floor you're going to find a bit of loot and some spawners. So there are lots of mobs to fight off in order to get this awesome loot. And then if we just continue to the top, we will see there is a shulker box with some extra loot in at the top and a diamond block. Of course, this is random, so it changes every time. Then let's have a look at this temple type building. So let's have a quick look at the inside of this. So all the dungeons are really cool in design. They look very, very different. And each one will have tons of different rooms and loot and everything. So if we have a look in here, you can see this one's very cool. It even has a farm section. Um, to the right of us that is awesome and they have loads of spawners as well so make sure you spawn them far enough apart that they don't overlap that was a mistake by me uh, but I wanted them close together so I could showcase all of them so if I smash my way out of here we can look at the other two so this one and the other one actually overlap a little bit unfortunately so this one has tons of spawners this is more open space it even has an obsidian chest room which is very very cool and in here you've got jank lanterns and you've got loads of chests with loot in there are lots of mobs spawning about there are some enchantment rooms and this one's pretty cool because it has uh, grass and trees and water underneath and that's why there is a glass ceiling but this is kind of what the dungeons look like it'd be very cool to stumble upon this in your world randomly and get all of the loot and goodies that are inside. So that is what they look like. That's just a quick showcase. Obviously you can download it and have a more in-depth look yourself. So how would we spawn this manually like I've done here? Well, there is a simple command. We need to force slash OTD underscore place. Now after that, we need to select a type. So if we do force slash OTD underscore place and then battle tower, that's going to be the first type. So the massive tower that I showed you initially. And what we need to do after that is repeat the command. So you can't do this accidentally. Um, so repeat the command again. And if we look to the right, there is a second battle tower. So this one is slightly different. It is more protruding into the ground than previously. And if we just dig down here, you can see it is still really tall. It just goes under the ground a lot. And all of the blocks are different. So up at the top, we don't have a shulker box. We've just got two bits of gold. Um, so that's really cool. So next we're going to look at the GUI. So this is a really cool and easy method to edit things. So if we do for slash OTD, that's going to open up the GUI and we can see our different worlds in here and different dungeons and whether they're enabled or disabled. So you can just go ahead and look at each one and customize it. So let's go ahead and look at the first one, so the roguelike dungeon. It is currently enabled, so we've got the natural spawn. Do we want to encase it in a dungeon? Do we want a random theme, or do we want it to fit in with the biome it's in? Then we have a loot config chest. We have biome settings, so this is really cool. You can enable and disable it for certain biomes. See all of the hundreds of biomes that are in Minecraft, and you can disable it for whichever ones you want, which is pretty cool. And you want built-in loot chests is the final setting there we go so if we want to add some loot all we need to do is uh, go into this setting so let's grab a diamond sword first of all and then if we do full slash otd go into the world go into the dungeon go into the loot config then we can add new loot and all we need to do is set the level um, of the dungeon that it will show up in so let's just do three randomly then we can set the max amount so how many do we want to appear and then we've got the weight chance in the top right so pop the sword in the blue box and then we can increase the loot chance a little bit to make it um, more likely you'll find it so let's say five and then click apply hover over it over here and you can see all the information about it and you can click to edit if you want to change things so that is a quick showcase of all the different dungeons and how you tweak them to spawn naturally and add different loot so we're going to have a quick look at the config files now so here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are quite a few files, but we don't really need to touch them very much. So up at the top, we've got Forge Sandbox, that just has various information about the different dungeons. Then we've got our language file, a log for the different dungeons, the settings, which is just setting the updated to true. And then the world config, this is the main one. So this has various information and settings to do with all the different dungeons and various um, loot settings. So we've got, do we want natural spawns? Do we want biome exclusions, looting, um, various limits like that? 
but obviously we can set this all in game in the nice GUI so you don't really need to touch this very much. So if we head on over to the spigot page you can see it is updated to 1.15 and as you can see there are some cool pictures of the dungeons which you can see here. If you have any problems with the plugin you can contact the developer but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.